following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. For more information about our network and to check out additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit VoiceAmerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome to the show, everyone. I hope you had a wonderful week that it's been full of great opportunities. And I was talking with my guest earlier today how this week for me personally has not gone according to plan. And I'm a planner, so I like it when things go according to plan. And when it doesn't, I find there's an opportunity to stretch, an opportunity to grow. And as I go through it, I actually discover some great jewels and gems and tools and where I start and stop on a new level that perhaps I wasn't aware of. And so even if you're having a week that's not going according to plan, I just want to encourage you and remind you that as you go through that, there are some great opportunities to step forward to shine, to discover where you start and stop and and how you're made. And it really ties into our message today, which is you, your voice and your message that you matter. You have incredible worth, incredible value. There's nobody else like you. Some of you may have heard me share this before, but there's not another one of you in reserve like take two, (laughs) if I chose to not step forward and share what I'm called to share or hold back a little bit, there's not a Rebecca too waiting to take the stage and say, okay, that was a great practice run. Let's step forward and and do the real thing now. Um, I am what I get to bring forward. I'm it in a sense. And each of you are the it. You are the gift to each and every person around you. And every day, especially in those weeks when things aren't going according to plan, you have an opportunity to bring the gift of you fully forward and into one another's lives. And as I was preparing for today, I had a story come to mind about one of my grandmothers. And this is a grandma that she's no longer with me in person, but she's very much with me in spirit. And she lived up in Washington. And... We got reconnected after many, many years. We had kind of separated, gone our different ways. And I came home one day and I had this little voice. She had a small voice, (laughs) but powerful on my recording. I don't know how she found me or located me. And it just said, Rebecca, I don't know if you remember me, but this is your grandma Quinn. And I want you to know I love you. I think of you so often. I miss you. I would love to get reacquainted and really establish a relationship with you. And if not, I totally understand, but know that there is someone out there sending you great love, that I lift you up all the time. I want everything this world has to offer you, that you will be richly blessed and be all that you can be. If you'd like to stay in touch, here's my number. And many of you probably can guess what I did. I called (laughs) and we developed this relationship that became so close, we could actually, in a sense, feel one another when it was time to reconnect or something significant was going on in either of our lives. And she was housebound at the point we got reacquainted. She'd had multiple strokes, so couldn't do much, you know, had lost part of the use of her body. And was losing her eyesight. She was an avid reader. And so that was a passion of hers and a dancer that she was having to release some of those things. And yet she had such a passion 
for life. Every time I would talk to her, she's telling me about the latest scientific discovery that she had heard all about on those books by tape (laughs) that were provided by the Library of Congress, which she was so grateful for. She kept such an amazing positive outlook that I was always encouraged. I was always uplifted. And I would call her in those highs in life. And maybe I had just achieved something I'd wanted to achieve. Or there was this amazing relationship I was in or whatever. I would call her and she'd go, honey, that's wonderful. But remember to be extra kind to yourself. To let your body process this on a cellular level. Take it in. Don't just run off to the next thing. I said, yeah, 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 Grandma. (laughs) I didn't take it in as deeply. I was always rushing to the next thing. And then I might have one of those lows in life when my sister-in-law had passed away or a relationship I thought was it had fallen apart. And I would call my grandma and just share my heart and pour it out to her. And she would grieve with me. And then she'd remind me to be extra kind to myself, treat myself like I would be, I would my best friend. Not trying to push myself on to the next thing. To really honor how I needed to process that on a cellular level. And I was a little bit better at listening during those lows. And the thing I didn't tell you that she would have me do at the end of every conversation. She said, Rebecca, my health is fragile. And it was. She said, I can go at any time. I said, I know, Grandma. But I want you to know something. I am at peace because I have fully loved and been fully loved. And that will never be taken from me. And I am richly blessed. She goes, but you do know my health is fragile. I'm going, yeah, Grandma, I know. (laughs) So I want you to make me a promise. Yeah, Grandma, what, what promise would you like me to make? I want you to promise you will take care of my granddaughter, which was me. And I would make that promise. Every call, every high, every low. And at one point, it was that final conversation. And I made that promise. And something I want you to know about my grandmother is she didn't have a thousand Facebook friends. I don't think she even knew what Facebook was. Kind of knew about that internet. She wasn't using social media. And yet she had this profound effect in my life. And I can't tell you how many people I have been able to share her wisdom with in those highs in life, in those lows in life, reminding them to be their own best friend, when I've sat across the table from widows, when I've met a stranger on the bus that is celebrating something amazing or not even sure how to take their next breath because of what they're facing. And I always ask them if I can tell them or give them a piece of advice my grandma would share. And they'll frequently kind of pause a little cautious, yeah. (laughs) And when I remind them to take care of themselves, to treat themselves like their best friend, They're instantly encouraged and are able to take that message in. And so she started this ripple effect by fully investing in me with her life, with her heart, with her wisdom. And I have been able to pass that on to thousands and thousands of people, sometimes heart by heart, sometimes on shows or stages such as this. And what I want you to do for a moment is just think about the gift that you are. How can you share a part of your life, a part of your heart, maybe more of you fully in another? It could be that person that you're sitting next to on the bus or the train or an airplane. It could be somebody that you're building a relationship with in life, someone you're walking beside or they're walking beside you. And what I want you to do for a moment today as we're pausing is really see what your message is. That you make a profound difference by being you. Sometimes you're that hug, that smile, 
that somebody has that they desperately need that day. So I really want you to listen to your heart and see what is it you're called to bring forward today, this moment, right after the show, this week. And when you feel those that pull, that prompting in your heart, that you'll honor it. So for those of you that are driving, please keep your hands on the wheel. Stay safe. Those of you who are able to, I encourage you to sit in the chair, feel it fully supporting you. Take a deep breath. Shoulders back. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head. Close your eyes, take a deep breath again. And what is it that you need to bring forward just a little bit more? to share a little bit of you, to to have that pebble in the pond that's starting the ripple effect that you're part of. We each get to make our own unique ripples in the pond that can impact many shores, ripple by ripple. What is it that you are called to bring forward? And just listen. Do you need something to encourage you on your journey? Is it just pausing and listening? Maybe honoring the heart and the pull? What is it that you need or are called to bring forward? Breathe that in. And Cynthia, my amazing guest today, do you have a thought that you would be willing to share with us today that came to your heart or mind? Yes. Thank you, Rebecca. That was so beautiful. What came to my mind was freedom. Mm. And one of my guides that I just have really come to appreciate has told me, to enjoy and to be in joy, that is freedom. Beautiful. Thank you. I'm writing that down. Joy and enjoy. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And just like your grandma, it's not just enjoying the good, it's enjoying everything. Exactly. It all matters. <laughs> yeah. And has value. Well, we are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And so, listeners, I invite you to stay in this space and really listen to the wisdom that's being shared with you from your heart, mind, and spirit. And see, is there a pull, something that you're wanting to lean in and bring forward in your life? We'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com Your people are waiting for you. Do you speak to have more impact and grow your business? Your people are waiting for you. Waiting to hear your unique message. Learn to speak more effectively on the Speaker's Summit. A free summit designed for speakers like you. More info at thespeakersummit.com. Your people are waiting for you. Are you ready for them? Your people are waiting for you. Be ready. Have you read all the dating books and online sites, yet nothing seems to click? Have you tried everything and it still didn't work? Dr. Gary Salyer and Dr. Diane Frost are your co-hosts for the dynamic and transformative Safe to Love Again workshop, where you'll discover the secrets to using your unconscious mind to find your soulmate. Visit safetoloveagain.com. The workshop will be held on Saturday and Sunday, February 28th through March 1st, 2015, in Emeryville, California. It's time to move from stalemate with love to soulmate. Visit safetoloveagain.com. Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and Transitional Career Strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. 
Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Build your better business. Achieve that goal. Make good on that resolution. The Voice America Empowerment Channel. It's your world. Motivate. Change. Succeed. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you had a nice pause as you were leaning into that commercial break. And we were talking about listening to our heart, to our mind. What is it that we're called to bring forward? And the message that was really given to me during that time is that you matter. You are beautifully, wonderfully made, needed on purpose and for a purpose. And I just want to remind every listener today that you matter. And as we shift into this next segment, I invited Cynthia to speak a little bit in our first segment here and share from her heart. And she shared about freedom and being in joy. And that's in joy in the highs and in the lows. <laughs> and I wanted to share just a little bit more about Cynthia so that you know who's on the call with us today. That you can really hear her wisdom, her expertise that she has to share with each of you. So Cynthia Stott is actually one of our big show sponsors. <laughs> so I invite you to listen to the commercials and you'll learn a little bit more about Cynthia, her powerful message. And you'll also get to see um, a banner if you're on the website of the American uh, Voice America channel that you'll be able to see her website and you'll see a picture of Cynthia as well. So you'll get to know her a little bit. <laughs> but she is a speaker mentor she loves to help speakers really share their message on stage or in different mediums so that they can really shine and really bring their unique message forward to have the impact they're called called to have in a really big way. And a success mindset expert because you probably know or maybe you don't know, but many of us that are called to share a message in a bigger and bigger way, again, heart by heart, but maybe in a more vulnerable way, or life by life, or stage by stage, it can be vulnerable and we can come up against our fears. And one of the things that Cynthia is really an expert in is helping us shift our mindset around that and move through fear. So it is my privilege and honor to officially introduce you to Cynthia Stott. Cynthia, welcome to the show. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so happy to be here. Glad to have you. I love to ask my favorite question as we're starting off together today. It's really, why is this work so important to you? Why is helping people understand that their people are waiting for them? I know that's one of your core beliefs, and you have your own why that makes that so important to you. Beautiful, and I think it connects to the message I got this morning in that beautiful meditation that you did, and it's all about freedom. I mean, it really is about being free to be you. 
your authentic you, your deepest you, and to share that in a way that feels good to you. And so um, when I was in college, I actually was terrified of public speaking. And my Mm -hmm. first class, I shook and my lip quivered and I could barely get my my words out of my mouth because I was in such terror. And that stopped me from saying what I wanted to say and, and how I wanted to say it. And so today, I, I want to stand for you and for your people because your people are waiting for you and my people are waiting for me. And my why is really about freedom because when we speak our truth, we can stand in joy and enjoy and really be who we are. Thank you. Thank you. And I appreciate you sharing that you weren't always this amazing speaker mentor. <laughs> that <laughs> there was a journey for you in that because I think sometimes we can look at somebody and where they are in their journey and what they've accomplished or how they're helping others and we sometimes think they just like, came out that way. <laughs> they were just born like that. Um, not that it's been a journey. So I appreciate you sharing a little bit about that so that they know that you're really coming from a place of working through that fear and standing in a place that you can help others. And mm-hmm. I know that part of that journey has involved sharing things about yourself that you didn't think were okay to share. And so perhaps hiding parts of that. And one of the things I know that you step forward and have been um, sharing more and more, but there was a time in your life that you were hesitant about was being a business medium. Do you mind sharing a little bit about that? Yeah. So I grew up a good Baptist girl and even went to Bible college. So the first time that I channeled and, and recognized that I was a medium it pretty much freaked me out. <laughs> it didn't, didn't work with my values that I thought I had at the time. But I followed it in, and it really is one of my deepest gifts, is to share um, messages from the soul. And I've created this program where it's in a one-on-one call. I can create a space for you where you can have a meeting with your soul. And you can get information that many times at first it's like, oh, that's very different. (laughs) It didn't come from me, but that's our ordinary self. It didn't come from. Our souls have such a deeper, broader, bigger perspective. But even sharing that publicly was so terrifying for me because I grew up Baptist, actually fundamentalist Christian Baptist, Bible college, and that was that was a, being a bad thing, you know, and it was very scary for me to share. And then in my history, in my family history, my, my family's been in America for oh, almost 400 years, and my eighth great-grandmother was Margaret Scott, and she, in uh, September 18, 1692, she was one of the witches, the, the the women in Salem that was hung for being a witch. And that, um, so in that history, it's it hasn't been safe to be different. And especially um, to have those sort of woo-woo powers or kind of magical type powers that, that channeling and mediumship carries today. I think it's getting more and more commonplace and understood, but it's still kind of in that rap, that, that magical woo-woo kind of world that um, has caused over the centuries and thousands of years problems, especially for women. And when you shared this part of yourself... What was the response? <laughs> well, it depends upon who's in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and how I share it, I think. 
So, Rebecca, can I share the first time that I shared this in front? And I felt like I was before the firing squad. (laughs) Well, actually, I was thinking of a few times that you shared it. Just I've been really privileged to be on the journey with you. Um, And I was thinking about um, the first time you kind of stepped into that space and then at Toastmasters and then the other two times. So any of those would be fine to share. You can choose. (laughs) Sure. Well, the first was with you, actually, in your program, you know, Share Your Authentic Message. Mm -hmm. And that really was the first time that I publicly shared like that. And I was literally felt like I could be before the firing squad. I was terrified to share it. And when I shared it, um, people loved it. Not only you loved it and supported it, but the other women in the room really supported it and say and said, you know, when you said that you, you know, had to overcome your fear by laying on the floor and with your legs up in the air and screaming like a banshee, I felt, oh, I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> I can relate to her and that sort of really kind of woo-woo, strange kind of thing that she's doing. And then when I shared about being a business medium and channeling your higher self and my first experience where I really recognized that, you guys ate it up and you so supported me, Rebecca. And that meant so much to me. Mm. Well, it was my privilege and honor. And just on the other side of that, seeing more of you being shared with all of us and everyone in that room and there was a a mixture of people leaned in and embraced knowing that about you knowing another dimension of you and so it was an honor to be a part of that and and to see it echoed throughout the room like that and I know that's led to many other opportunities where you've gotten to stand and share more of you and all of your gifts and power. Um, And we have just about two minutes to our next break. And so I was wondering if you wanted to share about the more recent moment, or do you want to do that when we come back? I want to honor, honor that story. Maybe when we come back, um, it's a little bit longer because there's actually two ways that it really kind of Yes. But I, what I wanted to say, though, is that what I was most surprised when I shared the deepest part of myself that I thought I was going to be in front of a firing squad was that it built trust with my audience. It built mm-hmm. trust with the people in the room, which is actually the opposite of what I had imagined it would do. Yes. Exactly. And listeners, I want you to just take that in for a moment. Sometimes our worst fear about sharing another dimension of ourself or part of ourself that we view in a certain way or afraid people are going to view in a certain way so we hide it or don't feel free to share it actually can create a little bit of a distance between ourselves and others. And when we're willing to, in a sense, trust them with that part of ourselves, it does exactly what what you said, Cynthia, where it builds that trust and bridge. And they are getting to know us on a deeper level, and generally, that actually draws them closer. Yes. Versus the opposite that, for some reason, we fear or think will happen. So, listeners, as we go to our next commercial break, I invite you just to kind of sit and reflect on that a little bit. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just a moment and hearing that second part of Cynthia's amazing story. Talk to you in just a moment. We're on Facebook along with some of the greatest minds of the world. And that includes you. Visit us on Facebook at Voice America Empowerment. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Have you read all the dating books and online sites, yet nothing seems to click? Have you tried everything and it still didn't work? 
Dr. Gary Salyer and Dr. Diane Frost are your co-hosts for the dynamic and transformative Safe to Love Again workshop, where you'll discover the secrets to using your unconscious mind to find your soulmate. Visit safetoloveagain.com. The workshop will be held on Saturday and Sunday, February 28th through March 1st, 2015 in Emeryville, California. It's time to move from stalemate with love to soulmate. Visit safetoloveagain.com. Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and Transitional Career Strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. Find out what makes the most successful people tick. Keep listening to the Voice America Empowerment Channel. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you had a nice commercial break and you got an opportunity to actually hear the beautiful commercial that Cynthia has put together that has one of her core messages in it that I'm going to have her share in her words shortly. But I want to make sure we come back to the story that we were talking about. We shared that first part where she was originally stepping into sharing more of her heart of hearts and her authentic core with us and entrusting her audience in a sense with that and how it actually brought them and her closer together versus actually feeling like they were pushing her away, which had surprised her and learned that in sharing more of herself and being vulnerable, it let them come closer. And then Cynthia, you said that you actually had two more parts to that story that sure. you were going to share with us. So I want to hand the floor over to you and hear those next parts. Awesome. So the other side of the coin is where you share your message and it doesn't land. Or in this case, actually in both cases, I was <laughs> criticized for sharing my message. Quite the opposite experience than I had with you and the other women in the room. Mm -hmm. So one was very recent, and um, I shared that I'm a business medium and I channel your higher self. And my mentor said, you need to take 100% of the room. You can't say you're a business medium and you channel your higher self. You're you're going to put people off. You can't do that. You can't do that. And before, when I was really fearful, if someone had said that to me, especially someone I respect and that was powerful, I would have either shook in my boots or, or just sat down. But something different happened this time. And I said, oh, yes, I can. I am not for everyone. I am not for 100% of the room. I can't serve everyone, but I can serve the people that I am meant to serve most. And those people love it when I say, I am a business medium and I, tra- and I channel your higher self. And sometimes your higher self actually teletransports you to a future where you can see yourself on the stage serving the people you are meant to serve most. And sometimes you are shocked by what you're doing and what you're saying and who you're saying it to. And I was so passionate and stirred up. And something happened that was different. About half of the room didn't like and said, nope, you can't do it. I don't understand it. But another half of the room, people that didn't speak up in that moment but talked to me afterwards, were so touched by my words and so touched by my gumption to stand up. 
So I actually think this is one of the best things my mentor taught me by telling me the opposite, by telling me I can't. She stirred within me my passion and my power to say, yes, I can. And I just want to comment as you shared this with us, the power, the conviction, and the authority in which you shared that. Mm. And reflect it back to you. And listeners, I hope that you heard that as well, the conviction, the power, and the confidence in standing in. I am not for everyone, but I am for my people, and I will share what I'm called to share with them. And I just want to applaud you for making that stand for you and your people. And thank you for sharing that experience with us. Can I say one more thing about that, Rebecca? Absolutely, please. So in that moment where I had the decision in my mind, will I stand up or will I shrink back? I thought about my people. Mm-hmm. And I thought, if I don't stand up for me and for them, I can never ask them to stand up for themselves. Mm. And I must stand up not only for me, but for my people and for everyone that has a unique message to share that is not for everyone, so that we can live in a world where all is welcome. All is not tolerated, but actually welcomed and appreciated for our differences and our different points of view. And that is freedom. Thank you. And I'm just pausing to let all of you let that sink in. And Cynthia, do you mind sharing with us about this message that I know is core to you as well about how your people are waiting for you. You touched on it a little bit in the story. I know it's in uh, a core message in your speaker summit that you have and serve so many speakers around the world with. And it's part of what your a legacy in a sense that you are sharing with all of those that you touch. Do you mind focusing in on what you mean by your people are waiting for you, and secondly, how you can be an answer to their prayers. Mm. Thank you, Rebecca. That's ah, It touches me so deeply. Your people are waiting for you. If you have a message... If you're, especially if you feel called to share a message to make a difference in the world with your message, even if you don't know exactly what your message is yet or you just have an inkling but you're not really sure but you know you have a message in you that needs to be shared with the world, it's automatic, like the other side of the coin, that the people who need to hear that message and to receive your gifts that are born out of that message are automatically available to you. And as you shout from the mountaintops of the Internet and Facebook and Twitter and all the social media and emailing, as you shout your message, which is not for everyone, some people are going to turn away. But your people are going to tune in and turn it up. And it's going to attract them to you and your boldness and your vulnerability to share that message, especially if you share it in that deep, vulnerable way. They feel that and they're inspired by it. And the thing is, they're actually praying for someone with this message, with these gifts related to this message. And they probably don't even think someone like you exists. But when they hear it, they are called to it, and they are praying for you, and you are the answer to their prayers. Thank you. And listeners, I want you to sit with that for just a moment, because I think we undervalue ourselves sometimes, we undervalue our message, our calling, we'll let people say that you can't keep us silent. And I love how you shared, Cynthia, that your people will tune in and turn it up 
and they are waiting for your message and praying for it. Thank you. Mm. There's another side to that, too, in that you're not meant to serve everyone. In fact, you can't serve everyone. And so by really tuning into your deepest authentic message, the one that your heart just craves to, to share, and attracting the people that need that message, and letting everyone else and everything else kind of fall to the background, that's how you can connect with your people the deepest and the most. And actually, that's a really great niche. Exactly. Thank you. Underline. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so many are seeking that message and the niche. So thank you for bringing it to how they can discover that and lean in. And we have just a couple minutes before our next break. The time goes so quickly, which I know, I know that you've put together an amazing free gift for our listeners. Do you mind sharing what that is? Yeah, it's an ebook about this message, which is, you know, just awesome. So it's the seven indicators that your people are waiting for you. Beautiful. And with this gift, will that help them better identify what their message is? Because I know it's indicators that they're waiting, but as they're tapping into that heart core message, does that empower them on their journey? It does because it helps them to really see, I do have a message and I do have people that are waiting for me. And that creates such a powerful swell of energy and passion and motivation within you that no one can give to that to you. Only you and your message, your authentic pieces can, can give you that kind of power. And so that's why I wrote the book so that you would know that I do have a message and I do have people waiting for me. Maybe I'm not, if I'm not seeing them yet, I'm probably not sharing the deepest part of my message because I'm still hiding. I'm still scared. And so it helps with that part. And then in the back of the book, I talk about the speaker programs that I do. In every program, I focus on your message and not just any message, but your message from your soul with these one-on-one meetings with your soul and some other um, meditative uh, support where you can really hear the voice of your soul and what your message is, who it's meant for, meant for, and how it serves them. And I just created a, a brand new program called Deepen Your Message, or it could be Uncover Your Message if you haven't seen it yet. But the depth is so important, and we're starting that um, pretty soon too. So it's called Deepen Your Message. It actually didn't even make it into the ebook, but if you sign up for the ebook, you'll get some information on that new program as well. Perfect. Thank you. I I so appreciate you making this gift available and letting them know some of the gems in a sense that they're walking away with and they're really going to receive in fully taking advantage of this ebook. And listeners, I really encourage you to lean into that opportunity. So when you get back from this next commercial break, I will let you know exactly how to access this valuable gift. We look forward to talking to you in just a moment. up to your fullest potential. This is the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Are you struggling with changing or re-entering your career? Terry Hockett, CEO of What's for Work and Transitional Career Strategist, works with her clients to craft their personal brand, gain clarity, and create career opportunities. Terry helps her clients discover and stand in their value and learn the tools and techniques needed to successfully navigate today's changing job market. Start today with your free membership. Step powerfully into the career of your dreams. Join Terry at whatsforwork.com. Have you read all the dating books and online sites, yet nothing seems to click? Have you tried everything and it still didn't work? Dr. Gary Salyer and Dr. Diane Frost are your co-hosts for the dynamic and transformative Safe to Love Again workshop, where you'll discover the secrets to using your unconscious mind to find your soulmate. 
Visit safetolovegain.com. The workshop will be held on Saturday and Sunday, February 28th through March 1st, 2015, in Emeryville, California. It's time to move from stalemate with love to soulmate. Visit safetolovegain.com. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for people like you. With just one seven-minute audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities. This is a dynamic way to share your message, reach more people, and expand your impact. Apply now at yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Finalists get to audition live in front of community leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Don't wait. Find out more. Visit yourpurposedrivenpractice.net forward slash speaker dash talent. Success starts here. VoiceAmericaEmpowerment.com. It's your world. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-888-346-9141. That's 1-888-346-9141. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed that commercial break. And I promised I would let you know how to access the amazing gift that Cynthia is generously making available to us. So let me share the two ways to do that. First way is if you're listening to this show live on the Voice America screen, if you look over to the right-hand side, you're going to see links. And one of them, they're a yellowish-orange color. If you click on the top one, it says Radio Show Gifts. Click on that. It'll open up a window that you can put your name and your email address in so we can stay in touch. And then it will open up to this gift that Cynthia is making available to you. So I really encourage you to lean in access that valuable information and then secondly if you're listening to the replay here's the other way that you can access this gift if you go to my website which is www.yourpurposedrivenpractice.com again that's yourpurposedrivenpractice.com and click on the radio show tab That will open up a window where you can listen to all different kinds of replays from our shows. But on the left-hand top corner, you'll see Radio Show Empowering Gifts. So you simply click on that button in that picture, and it'll open up and make all of these amazing gifts available. And to help encourage you and spark your interest even more, Cynthia has generously offered to share one of the deep insights from that ebook. So, Cynthia, I hand the floor over to you. Awesome. I actually have just two to share. One really Mm -hmm. quick, that's okay, and then the second more deep. Mm -hmm. So the first one is um, the indicators that your people are waiting for you is you're keeping something secret. And really that's what we've been talking about before today. You've been hiding your deepest gifts. And so your deepest gifts are the things that you're, the jewels that you're meant to bring out into the world. And the second one is you've been hurt, disappointed, or let down. And the beautiful thing is the wounds that you have, in my opinion, in my experience, are actually gift wrapping. And once you unwrap the wound, inside of that, you find some of your deepest, most precious gifts that you're meant to share with the world, with your people. Thank you. And I think that sometimes that's why they can uniquely hear your voice. That the gem or the jewel or what you uncover in that wound, others have also been hurt. And maybe not exactly the same way, sometimes exactly the same way. Mm -hmm. And because you've been there before or first, you can speak and connect to them in a different way than someone who hasn't and really support, encourage, and inspire them in a way someone who has not walked that path can't. Um, So that's my opinion on that. I don't know if that echoes your thoughts or if you had something you wanted to add to that, Cynthia. Absolutely. That's absolutely the truth of it. And sometimes we think our wounds are our curses. 
And sometimes, even the gift that's inside the wound, we think is a, is a curse. But when we truly open it up with our heart and our understanding and our compassion, we can uncover that it is a true gem that needs to be shared with the world. Exactly. Thank you. Listeners, I want us to just roll our shoulders back again and think about some of what we've shared today, how you, your voice, your life, and your message truly matter. And whether you have a thousand Facebook friends or you're not even quite sure what the internet is, (laughs) you can make a profound difference by sharing the gift of you heart by heart, life by life. And I was thinking back on some of what we talked about today. Uh, My grandmother, for instance, and I had shared that at one point it was our final call that we had together. And that is very poignant to me and it's something I really remember because Our time is fleeting, just like there isn't another one of us behind the curtain that can come and step forward. We can also miss windows of opportunity to speak and to serve. I could have missed that last conversation with my grandmother. I could have missed having a relationship with her by not answering that call. I could have missed being on this journey with each and every one of you because of perhaps being afraid or uncertain or not sure or feeling like someone else could do that, maybe better. And what I've learned is where I am called, and this is echoing some of what Cynthia shared today, that when we're called and we feel the pull at the heart, it's not that we're perfect And we know how to do everything and we're never going to make mistakes or stumble our toes. But we are perfectly prepared to share authentically on the journey the messages we're called to share. We already have what we need to share with the people that in a sense their hearts are calling us forward. And I love, Cynthia, how you shared that in that moment when you took that stand so powerfully that it wasn't just about you trying to serve everybody it was you saying yes to your people Mm. and you knew it in that moment on stage and listeners that's what I want you to know today you get to make that choice every breath will you say yes to bringing yourself forward to sharing your message for you and for the people that are hungry for it, that need it, need you exactly as you are, perfect in your imperfections. Are you willing? The question isn't, are you perfect? It's, are you willing? And only you can answer that. But I can assure you, without pause or hesitation, If you have that call on your heart, that pull, there is someone that needs exactly who you are and what you are and what you have to share right now. Not three days from now, not once you learn one more thing, right now. And I want to really encourage you and I hope inspire you and I hope stretch you to lean in and say yes to answer the call, to say yes to those people that are waiting for you, authentically you. You have that choice and that opportunity every moment, every breath. And my heart's desire for you is not only to say yes, which I hope you do, But secondly, that wherever you are, even when your week doesn't go according to plan, that you will always, always 
bloom where you're planted and shine. I look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time and 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Shine.